All right. First of all, but before I read number 11, um, between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter are what are called the, that, that's the asteroid belt. That's the main asteroid belt. Um, there are three large objects, large enough now um, that they've been reclassified. Uh, the largest, of course, is called Ceres. Um, the, the, then comes another one called Pallas. And then there's Vesta. The, the, the originally, you know, if you go back, um, you know, more than like uh, 30 years ago, these were these were always considered asteroids. Um, so, you know, some sometimes, you know, older people will still say older people in astronomy will still still say Vesta is an asteroid, but it has been reclassified as an, a, a minor planet. All right. So with that in mind, um, let's calculate the surface gravity. Uh, in meters per second of, of Vesta. And we're also going to calculate the escape velocity. And we're giving us the size of Vesta is 262.5 kilometers. And they give us the mass of it in kilograms. So um, we, we can do that. And, and there's there's both answers um, you know, right, right here. Um, right here. A. a um, so the the uh, the surface gravity is going to turn out to be 0.25 meters per second squared, and in in the escape velocity in kilometers per second will be 0.36. All right, so so let let's see how to do this. Um, all right, so so uh, the the one thing is, of course, first of all, the radius is given to us in kilometers, so it's two. What is it? Uh, Two six two, two six two, point five uh, times ten. Uh, well, it's in kilometers, so now I'm going to change it to meters times ten to the third meters. All right, so that number um, is what I'm going to use um, throughout this. All right, so let me open this up just a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, <clears throat> good. All right, so, so, so we're going to use that number. Um, the first one, part A, here's part A, um, the, uh, the escape velocity, so we call that A sub G, is just big G times the mass divided by R squared, where R has to be in meters. So um, it's going to be 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th. Of course, that's always the same number. That's what big G is. Um, the mass is 2.59 times 10 to the 20th, All right. and then we divide by um, this, this number right here, uh, 262.5 times 10 to the third, All right. but remember we have to square that. All right, so, uh, so now we expect it to be 0.25. Um, so let's let's prove that to ourselves. Let's get my calculator first of all. All right, so here I already started this problem, so let me clear this out. All right, so here we go. So six point six seven times ten to the minus eleventh times uh, two point five nine times 10 to the 20th, and then divided by uh, 262.5 times 10 to the third. And then, of course, I have to square that. All right. So this will be my uh, A sub G, the surface gravity. All right. So uh, there it is. It turns out to be 0 0.25, you know, 0 0.250. Um, the, the, the zero is, is less than five, so I don't round up the five. So it, the answer just turns out to be 0.25 um, meters per second squared. Right? Just as a reminder, um, on the surface of the Earth, it's 9.8 meters per second squared. So, you know, this, this is very small gravity compared to the Earth. And of course, you know, this is a small minor planet. Um, the escape velocity, the escape, 
um, is, of course, the square root. I'm just going to put the numbers in here. Um, so it's going to be big G, which is 6.67. Supposed to be a seven uh, times ten to the minus eleventh, and then there's big G, and then we multiply by the mass of this, and the mass is uh, two point five nine times ten to the twentieth, and then we just simply divide by um, we divide by R. This is separate than this one, all right? So we divide by R, which is uh, two six two. 0.5 times 10 to the third, All right? And, and that answer will come out in uh, in meters per second, All right? So th this will be, um, this will be meters per second. Um, yeah, so, so here, let's, let's figure out what it is. And then we'll divide it by a thousand to turn it into kilometers per second, All right? So here we go. All right, so this is for my escape velocity. Let me lift that up just a little bit so you can see what we're doing here. All right, so um, now now with this, oh, oh, geez, I forgot, the, I forgot the two. Um, so it's two, two times big G. All right, so sorry about that. Um, two times big G times, um, where's my calculator? All right, so uh, here, let's, we'll, everything's cleared. Okay, so it's two times, uh, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th, all right, and then times the mass, which is times 2.59 times 10 to the 20th, all right, and then we divide by uh, the, the radius, which is 262.5 times 10 to the third, 2. 62.5 times 10 to the third. All right, now, now this is all under the radical. I still have to take the square root, all right? And so I take the square root, there it is. All right, so so so, so there's there's the answer. So, so it turns out like it would be 362.79 you know, or 0.8 roughly. Um, if I were to do this in meters per second, all right. So um, <clears throat> here, let me just let me write it like this: uh, three sixty-two point eight, three sixty-two point eight. Um, of course, that would be meters per second, and, but we want it to be in kilometers. So I know that there are one thousand meters in one kilometer. Kilograms, K. It's supposed to be a K. Um, and so the meters cancel. And um, <clears throat> so, so you know, you, I mean, I think you can see that when you do that, you divide 362 um, <clears throat> by 1,000, it turns out to be point, point 0.36. Uh, yeah, point, point 0.36. All right, uh, here, let me just do that. Where's my calculator? All right, right here it is. All right, so here's the calculator. And so if I just divide that by a thousand, all right, equals. So um, so it's 0.36, all right? Yeah, the, the, after the six is a two, that's less than five. So it, so it just, so we're just gonna keep it as 0.36, all right? And it's kilometers per second. All right, so that, and that's, that's very, very small. Um, just as a reminder, uh, from the escape speed from Earth uh, is is eleven point um, five kilometers per second. All right, so that is number eleven.